well uh, in continuation of our part one on a competitive market uh, now we focus on how the firms uh, in the short run making decision whether they have to produce uh, and how much they have to produce so let's start um, uh, definitely every firm in a competitive market is there to maximize their profit and uh, how we can calculate profit we know that uh, total revenue minus total uh, cost is the profit so uh, the firms are uh, making decision whether they have to produce uh, uh, any output or uh, and or shut down their uh, operation for a short period of time uh, it depends on all the market price because uh, in a competitive market, the price is set by the market, not by the firm. So if the price is not covering their variable, average variable cost, then they have to uh, shut down the business until the price again rise uh, over and above the average variable cost uh, to produce. Now, the, the tricky point is this, that it is possible that the firms are not making profit, but even then they are continuing to produce. The reason behind this, uh, even the profit is not there, the firms are producing because while producing, they can cover some part of their fixed cost. And by this way, their profit is less, uh, their loss is less uh, if they produce and their loss is uh, more if they stop producing uh, any good. So that's the reason that uh, uh, the firms are making losses. Uh, when they are making losses so they have to decide whether they have to produce or, uh, to cover some of the fixed cost or to produce not at all and just pay the fixed cost so this is the condition uh, we're going to talk about for the uh, shutting down or uh, now when we are using the word shutdown in a uh, competitive market uh, it means that we are uh, 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 not uh, producing the products for a short period of time uh, we are bearing the fixed cost uh, and producing no uh, output uh, but for a short period of time so in a short run the firms has to make whether they have to continue to produce or to shut down for a while so if firm, if firm produce nothing it will have an operating loss that is equal to its fixed cost so if the firm decided to produce it will add the variable cost of production to its cost so that's a very important and a very tricky question that they have to answer uh, and the answer is dependent on only one condition if the price is more than average variable cost then it is good for the firm to produce and if the price is less than average variable cost then it is in the uh, interest of the firm not to produce at all and just bear the fixed cost so uh, uh, that's a, a shutdown price uh, is a price that is equal to the minimum of the firm's average variable cost and if we look at this there are three different prices uh, represented on this graph p1 uh, p2 and p0 so if the price is p0 uh, and the firm is uh, covering all the fixed cost but there is no uh, they, they are not covering a variable cost at all so it's uh, the price is just equal to average variable cost so in that case the firm has to decide whether they have to produce or not to produce uh, but all other prices like p1 and p2 if the price is higher than uh, average variable cost so like in this case if we look at this uh, if the p if the price is p2 the firm is going to produce q q2 uh, dash and if the price is p1 the firm is producing q1 dash uh, so that's the and uh, between the q1 and q2 and q2 uh, q1 uh, dash and q1 uh, so that's the case uh, now how much now the second question the first question is yes they have to produce or not to produce uh, or uh, they shut down their operation for a time being now the second question is how much to produce because a firm in a competitive market is a very small proportion of the whole market so every firm has to decide how much to produce depending upon its own cost structure so they have to look at where uh, one more unit production is the the, the marginal revenue they are generating uh, is uh, more than the marginal cost of producing that goods so firm is going to produce up till the point where the marginal revenue from producing one more unit is higher than the marginal cost of producing that so they produce up to the point where they are equal. Now, if the uh, situation is reverse, like marginal cost is 
more than marginal revenues and then it is good to uh, produce less and reach up to again to the point where it is equal so the golden rule we get it from this is that the marginal revenue should be equal to marginal uh, cost that is the point which determines that how much each firm in the competitive market has to produce now if you look at this graph uh, uh, this graph on the right hand side so we draw two curves and one is a total revenue curve which uh, we discuss in the part one that is a straight upward uh, uh, line total revenue it's not a total revenue and uh, there is another curve we, which we call, uh, call a total cost curve so total cost curve is a red and the green line is a total revenue curve so if as a as a as a common person if we ask that okay uh, uh, these are uh, on x-axis we have a quantity so where are we gonna produce so definitely everyone is gonna reply like okay where the diff where the distance between the total revenue and the total cost is maximum because uh, where the total revenue is higher than the uh, total cost at its maximum so that's the point where it is maximum so we see here that uh, this is the point where it is maximum now where q star is uh, on any other point like if you go below uh, we see that there's a loss red uh, region and above this point there's also a loss so in between these two there is a region in which we have a profit but the profit is maximum in uh, in the middle of this where q star is uh, where the distance or the difference between the total revenue and total cost is maximum uh, if we look this point on our uh, marginal cost curve and marginal revenue curve so we see that uh, this is the point where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue so this horizontal line is our price is equal to marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost and the mar uh, marginal uh, average revenue and the marginal cost is upward sloping so by this way we we determine that uh, this is the point where they are equal and that's the golden rule for every firm in a competitive market that how much to produce produce up till the point where your marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue now based on these two things that uh, then if we want to find out what is the supply curve for a competitive firm in a uh, for, uh, for a competitive firm so how we can see that uh, it's a point on a marginal revenue curve above the average variable cost above the average variable cost uh, and this whole marginal cost curve is a supply curve above the point of average variable cost because below average variable cost the firm is shutting down or is not producing at all so it means that there is no supply below average variable cost so we are saying that this is the supply curve starting from $20 uh, price and uh, quantity Q0 and below there there is no supply so this is an individual or a single firm in a competitive market so if we want to find out the total supply curve of a competitive market we have to horizontally summing up uh, the supply curves of uh, all the firms operating in a competitive market to get a so here we are have a two firms like sa uh, supply curve for firm a and supply curve for firm b and when we horizontally adding up we get this uh, this type of a uh, supply curve for the whole market now we see that uh, this uh, the market when in the short run the market is equilibrium we already know from our uh, supply and demand analysis that market is in equilibrium when the quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied so but it doesn't mean that when the market is in equilibrium that all firms are making profit so there is a possibility that in an equilibrium situation when the quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal there are few firms in a competitive market uh, they are making losses so what they do uh, because the market price uh, is less than their uh, average total cost so there are some firms who are uh, making uh, break even or making zero economic profit and there are some firms who are making profit because of their difference in their marginal costs because their differences in their cost structure so uh, by this way we can also infer from this that in a competitive market only uh, uh, efficient firms going to survive because if a firms are making losses so for a short for a certain period of time they bear the loss and then get get out of the business uh, so but in the uh, long run we will talk uh, in our second part uh, in a third part so when the firm produces at uh, q1 uh, we see that the marginal cost is equal to minor revenue 
and P1 uh, is less than ATC, the firm suffered losses. Uh, negative economic profit equal to shaded area. Since uh, uh, price exceeds average variable cost, the firm continues to produce. So we see here uh, that uh, the, the firm are making losses, but why they are producing, why they are in the business, they are in the business because the price is still higher on average variable cost. So in the second graph, we see here that they all are equal. So that's a zero economic profit. And here we see that the firms are operating because uh, their average total cost is less than the price and they are making profit. So when the firms uh, produce at Q3, uh, the, the price is greater than ATC, the firms making positive economic profit equal to that shaded area we see here. So this is all uh, from our uh, uh, part second, which in which we discuss uh, the competitive firms in a short run. So in part three, we will talk about uh, competitive firms in a long run.